The River Tavy forms a natural border between the counties of Ceredigion and Carmarthenshire. About seven miles in from the mouth of the river in Cardigan is the pretty village of Kenarth, famous for its falls and its salmon. As early as the 12th century, a visitor to the village noted that an extensive fishery existed on the rocks where the salmon leapt as they migrated their way upstream. But this river is also famous for the rather unusual but traditional way in which those salmon were caught. For hundreds of years, the fishermen here have used a coracle, and it's probably one of only three rivers in the world where coracles are still used for salmon fishing with a net. Coracles were once common all over the British Isles. Julius Caesar is said to have first come across one when he invaded Britain back in 55 or 54 BC. Nowadays, you'll only find the craft in a few areas. One of them is Shropshire on the English-Welsh borders. The other is right here in Wales. Every area had its own unique type of coracle, made from local materials and designed for the particular conditions of the local river and its use. But the basic construction style would have been very similar. As you can see, it's simply made of a basket-like construction, interwoven lats that give it its strength, its cohesion. Traditionally, they would have been completely round and covered with the hide of an animal, and the size of the hide would dictate the size of the vessel. The hair would have been on the inside, the skin on the outside, and you'd use, really, the fat to help waterproof it. For the last 200 years here, they've been covered in cotton and then painted with a pitch, and this pitch does two things. It tightens the cotton, but it also makes it waterproof. And the wood used on the lats is a willow and hazel wood, woods that are plentiful in the area. But the most important thing is, with these little crafts, is the bottom has to be flat because it has to work within three inches of water. And this little craft will actually hold three times my body weight. It's so simple. And at the end of the day, all you have to do is pick this thing up, put it on your shoulder and walk home. It's fascinating. Over the years, fishing licences were not renewed and sadly the coracle is now a rare sight. But this important symbol of Welsh heritage is actually part of a worldwide tradition. And I've come to the National Coracle Centre in Carnarth to meet Martin Fowler, who is going to show me some of the coracle's foreign relatives. What a fabulous place, but I guess my first question has to be, when and where did the coracle style of boat originate? Although okay. most people associate them with whales, uh, I think the Middle East was where they actually started. Yeah. And we're looking at the first forms of water transport from the first civilizations of the world, really. Well, I know that you've got different examples from all over the yeah. world. Can I see the one from North America? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot smaller than I would have thought. Yes. Um, but then again, it depends on the size of the animal, the skin, the hide. There we are, hide. North American Indians. Of course, buffalo? They, buffalo hide. Mm -hmm. At one time, uh, that, there were thousands of buffalo on the plains yeah. of North America. They, they've left a tail on, they're not? They always did. And this is interesting because this is the only one I know of where they've covered it the opposite way, with the hair on, on the, the outside. outside and the skin on the inside. And they left the tail on so they could pull it up the bank, tie it to something. But when you use this, you kneel and paddle exactly the same as we would use a coracle here. But with the tail here, when you went down river, the hair would always go with the water. So instead of putting grease on it, they left it exactly how the animal kept dry. Yes. And that's why I think everywhere in the world, people came up with the same ideas, but all independently. This is just so remarkable. The whole afternoon has really opened my eyes up to boat building with a difference. <laughs> it really has. Martin, let me shake your hand. Thank you so much That's for showing pleasure. me around the museum. It is open to the public. Yes. It's got to be unique. It's possibly the only one in I, the world. I think so. Yes. Well, it's well worth a visit and long may it continue. Thank you very much. <laughs> It's been really, really fascinating to see how this simple idea, like a basket-like boat, has cropped up all across the globe from the earliest of times. It's a real testament to man's ingenuity and determination to overcome the limits of his environment. Yet it's rather bizarre to think this village here in Wales is one of a very, very few places in which you'll still see these coracles at work. <laughs>